Okay guys, today we are going to be covering texture. How we can get different textures for our book cover. Uh, sometimes you want a texture on the front of the book, sometimes you want the texture on the back. And well, it, 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 it depends. It depends on what the client wants. For example, this book that I'm doing an outline if you notice how there seem to be a texture, let's just go up a little bit closer and you can see it, right? It looks so nice. It's it's not looking so smooth. I mean, it, it could, could be, it would be fine having this, this on the back, but you, you sometimes want to go above and beyond and create a difference um, on a book cover. You're working from client to client. You want to change things up. You want to make there and one work look one way, another work look. You, I mean, you always want to change it up and do things differently, right? So, I'm going to show you how you can change the the background, the texture of uh, one of these regular uh, that comes with in Canva. Regular is just saying it is that you can just click on it. I can just delete this. And then I can tell it, choose the color I want. And I will, let's just go with this because this was what was there. Or I probably say this, this is what was there. But we wanted to do something that would create that, um, that things that set the work above, above the rest, above the person that's going to just use something that they just click on and get it. You just want to make your work a little bit, you know, pop. So on this, on this um, book cover, and I'm going to show you how did how I got this texture. I've already copied. Uh, let's get it back to the color that we were working on. I've already copied the the the, the texture, but we would go to elements, and then we would look for. We would look for. We type in linen. linen texture or linen let's just put linen and see what would come up and here all sorts of uh, linen texture I'm not gonna copy I'm just gonna I can't set it as a background no I can't Hmm, I can't set as a background, so you probably can't do it with the elements. So let's go for for photo, and then look for linen. When I'm working, believe you me, I I am not necessarily picking up this could use this could use this is linen. Uh, linen texture. This is also another one, right? But we this is this is I like this one because what I'm gonna do with it, it's not even going to show this color, right? And I suppose for you, for those of you who have used Canva enough, you know exactly where I'm gonna go. For those of you don't, who don't, well, here's a treat. The first thing we're going to be doing we are going to be taking down the opacity of the this we're going to take it real low i think the last time i used it and it's not this one i took it down to 12 so let's carry it all the way down to 12 and then we're going to left click on your mouse and then say replace as background yes here it is if you notice it's different from this because what I actually had there, let's just space, is this one, this linen texture, <laughs> right? So you see how, how you can get different different textures on, a, on the back of a book. And then instead of the book looking like, um, so that we don't change up things too much. And this is a quick video. Let me just duplicate this, right? So now we have it two places. And then we can just click on this and tell 
well, I locked the layer, so let me unlock the layer and just left click here and say that. And here it is, removed from the from the background. And you you t you choose because some persons would probably like it without the texture. Some persons might. So this is the the back of the book. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's go smaller. So this is what the book would look like. Uh, I've already created the ebook uh, cover, a paperback, and art art cover for this. Uh, the video is on YouTube. If you follow me, you'll see there the step by step how to convert from an ebook cover to a paperback. But in this case, um, so on that it didn't have the smooth texture. It ha it didn't have the smooth texture at all. It had the it had the this one. It had this one that had not this one. It had this one, right? Right, which is which is this one. This this is which is this one. And yeah so 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 to do that and then it depends for me i prefer when the texture isn't so distracting this is nice this is leather but can you imagine let's just copy and paste so even when you're deciding to do um something like that you really want to consider how it's going to affect the 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 text that are on the back and that's a big that's a big deal because let's just say copy and place it on this let's see if it's distracting if it's distracting if it's taking attention from the words on the back then you, it's not um, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that one wouldn't do this one at all but let's see what would happen it's a it's it's distracting it's very distracting so let's okay the other thing we could do, because there's always things that we could do, we're going to click on the layer and we are going to go edit and we're coming here, select all and then we are going to add a little bit of blur. The blur will smooth it out a bit, smooth out the background a bit. Let's just move it slowly. You see, it had the texture but not the way how you'd want to see the grains up close but it makes the text easier to see so I still not I'm not necessarily liking it so I would have chosen something that would give you a, a smoother texture like linen or some kind of fabric let's just look for some kind of fabric that would not be would not affect the detail of what is written on the back. The important thing is for the for your the prospective readers to be able to see the text that is on the back of the book. And that would be more important. So this is all we all we have for today. If you like this video please comment, share with your friends and um see you in the next video. Peace out.